with Fidel Castro now gone and the U.S. and Cuba moving towards reconciliation, the dynamic of the Cuba-Venezuela relationship could be shifting. The island nation has been dependent on Venezuelan oil for its struggling economy, while a medical doctor exchange program has boosted health care options for Venezuelans. And it is here in this room that hundreds of Venezuelans wait to see if they will be able to go to Cuba to get much needed medical treatment. Teresa Ortiz hopes that this will be the final hurdle before her son gets the chance to get a prosthetic arm, a procedure she knows she could never afford here at home. I am confident that the doctors there will give us the solution that we have been looking for for a long time. It's free, and I am a single mother with a low income. This program is just one of a host of initiatives that have flourished between Havana and Caracas since the presidency of Hugo Chavez. More than 60,000 Venezuelans have traveled to Cuba free of charge for medical care. And there are now more than 1,000 clinics in Venezuela staffed mainly by Cuban doctors. This has helped make Venezuela's health care more universal. Cuba, in return, gets access to much needed cheap fuel. With this Cuban agreement, we have proven that solidarity exists. What does Cuba have? An excellent health system. What do we have? Oil to sell to our brother countries. But this relationship could be challenged as Venezuela deals with crashing oil prices. Discounted oil and other trade deals have helped keep Cuba afloat economically and have made Venezuela Cuba's most important economic partner since the days of the Soviet Union. However, their partnership is more than just economic. Hugo Chavez and Fidel Castro shared a strong ideological bond, united against U.S. economic and political influence in Latin America. They helped to create trade blocks like the ALBA that excluded the U.S. and reject neoliberal free market principles. But these strong ties have also become a political liability in Venezuela. Anti-government protesters in Venezuela have repeatedly accused Havana of secretly controlling Chavez's successor, Nicolas Maduro. They also allege that as Caracas suffers from deep economic problems, Cuba is benefiting disproportionately from the country's discounted oil. Yet, 15 years of expanding relations have also made Cuba very dependent on Venezuela. 40% of Havana's trade comes from the Oil for Doctors program. This puts Cuba in a vulnerable position, especially if Venezuela's economy were to collapse. One of the crucial points of the economic program of Raul Castro is that Cuba doesn't depend on Venezuela, not to be so dependent from Venezuela and to find ways to solve it which also happened with the Soviet Union. When the Russian assistance collapsed, Cuba collapsed, and just right then came Chavez, the savior hand.